Hey everybody, uh, day, ooh, what is this, day three, four. day four, uh, day four of Vlogmas. Uh, first I'd like to apologize to those of you who are waiting on tenterhooks with bated breath for our Doctor Sleep movie review. Um, been a little, well, a lot under the weather here, not really feeling all that great, um, so I picked a great time to do videos every single day, right? Uh, but it's coming. It'll be, it'll, it'll come. But I figured that today I would just do a nice, easy video. Um, my top 10 favorite authors at this moment. Um, obviously, uh, I haven't read enough Agatha Christie yet for her to come on this. But she might, she might break her way in. Um, there's other new authors that I've been recommended, uh, Jeff Strand, Tom Clancy, um, Tad Williams, and I have yet to read a Brandon Sanderson book, so who knows, uh, maybe those authors could push their way onto this. We will see, but, <clears throat> oh, um... A little bit of indigestion, my apologies. But this is my top 10 as of December 4th, 2022. Uh, like to put it out there, happy birthday to Richard. He would be 27. Um, he is my boy, my son, and uh, we lost him in a stillbirth. So, yeah, happy birthday to him. But let's get into the list. At number 10 is Dean Koontz. Um, is that in the frame? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, I've been reading Dean Koontz probably longer than I've been reading Stephen King. He's not as good. He writes different, though. Stephen King writes more horror. Dean Koontz writes more, like, intellectual thrillers, almost. Um, and it's better when he stays there. Uh, but this is a book. It's called Dark, Dark Rivers of the Heart. My daughter found this at a Goodwill, I think, for me. So this is the book I'm choosing to show. And a few of his other books are Watchers, The Moonlight Bay, series. I can't call it a trilogy because only two have been released and those of us who like Dean Koontz and like the Chris Snow uh, series have seriously been waiting for years and years for the third book. And we're hoping that he actually comes back to it because it's, it's like you're hanging on the edge in the elevator. And if you've read it, you know what I mean. The Odd Thomas series is actually... It starts out very good. It ends like a wet noodle. But there are some really good books in there. And then he has a book called Intensity, which I feel could hold its own with almost every single Stephen King book. That's how good it is. So, But Dean Koontz is number 10. Number 9 is a new author from this year. H.P. Lovecraft. Um, this is his entire works of fiction. Uh, pay close attention, because I originally said that if I hit 100 subscribers, I was going to give this away. I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, I am going to do a giveaway at 100 subscribers with a book that I'm going to show you today, but not this one. This book, I have a different uh, plan for. I'm going to give it to one of my new friends. Um, So, if 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 you've been if you've been paying attention out there, new friend, you know who I mean. But this is his main his big thing. I'm not going to give you my top ten of his stories yet. That's coming later this month, definitely. But a few of the highlights are um, the I'm going to read from the back here: The Call of Cthulhu, At the Mountains of Madness, The Dunwich Horror, and The Color Out of Space are some highlights. So that's. Number nine is H.P. Lovecraft. 
Number eight is Alan Moore. Uh, let me see. He, the one I'm going to choose to show you is From Hell, which is, um, a, I'm, I'm think, I think, I, if I remember correctly, this is about Jack the Ripper. Uh, and they made a movie about this with Johnny Depp. Um, that's the one I'm choosing to show you. Uh, he's also written Superman, Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow, which I talked about a few days ago, and we'll do a video later. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. He did. He reinvented Swamp Thing in a masterful way. And I know what you're waiting for me to say. Trust me. When it comes to Alan Moore, I know what you're waiting for me to say. But I'm not going to say it. You, if you, if you want me to say it, or if, you, or if you want to say it, then tell me in the comments. But I'm not going to tell you. Anyway, number seven as a writer and author isn't so much known for books as he is for TV. And that is Rod Serling. He did The Twilight Zone. Um, nothing else really to say about him. Uh, he was amazing. So that was number seven. At number six is Joe Nesbo. Um, he, this is The Leopard. Uh, I can't, I don't remember which book this is in the series, but this is one of the, the series of the Harry Holy books, which I own all but the most, the two most recent. Um, and I will be reading Police, which I think is number nine or ten, um, early next year. So I like, I like the, well, we'll talk about that later, but Joan Esbo, the author of the Harry Holy books. I like that. Um, it's spelled like Harry Hole, but it's Harry Holy. Next up is the Stratemeyer Syndicate. Um, I had to include the entire syndicate because uh, it's like it's it's like Carolyn Carolyn Keene or something. Franklin W. Dixon. There's probably others. Uh, this they they wrote Nancy Drew, Tom Swift, and the Hardy Boys. Um, and here you have uh, two Hardy Boy books. One from the very first print, the first editions from the 30s and 40s, and then. The second print of the series from, I want to say, this, the, the 60s and 70s. So I don't have very many of these, of the originals. I had a full run of the second print until our disastrous flood. I will rebuild. This is something that I'm going to want to give to my grandkids. So, if I live that long. <laughs> um, but that is... The Stratemeyer Syndicate. Okay. Number four is Dan Simmons. I am currently reading a fantastic Dan Simmons book that I've never read before called The Terror. And I am currently on page 460. Uh, I'm eating it up. Um, Dan Simmons has also re written Carry On Comfort, which I will read next year. Darwin's Blade, which I which I have read and was was pretty good, and Summer of Night, which is up till now my probably my second favorite book of this year. Um, at this point, I don't know. I'm gonna you know there are some things I'm gonna read in December, so we'll see. But Dan Simmons is number four. Number three is. A Dutch author who I discovered by accident and then I reached out to her on Facebook a long a while back I actually became friends with her and she made my day while I made hers because she claimed I was her first fan uh, she even wrote a blog post about it 
which was pretty cool. That was a while ago. She's got more fans since then. Trust me. She's too good of an author. Um, she wrote, it is Chantal Nordelus. And this is Coyote the Outlander. And... It is signed, uh, personalized, with a sketch. So that's pretty cool. And she wrote, this is actually book one of the Coyote series. There's two. I'm really anxiously awaiting another, a third. She also wrote Angel Manor, uh, Deeply Twisted, and then Wrath and Pride, which are both two, the first two books in the Even Hell Has Standards series. She is awesome. She she knows how to how to create things like situations and suspense. She's she's very very good at what she does. <clears throat> Go check her out. Number two is Stephen King. I know how can Stephen how can Stephen King not be my number one author since I named my booktube channel after it and our book club after him well he's number two um and i don't think i have to tell you many of the books that he wrote <laughs> or has done but this book right here will will be the giveaway at 100 subscribers it is the salem's lot illustrated edition maybe not this one with this thing but um we have two of these Three, I think, because um, everyone in the book club had their own. Uh, but it's also got the two short stories in it. Um, I think it's One for the Road and Jerusalem's Lot. Jerusalem's Lot is a prequel, and I think it's One for the Road is a sequel. And this has got some really neat illustrations in it. So this will be the 100 subscriber giveaway if I get there. We're at 43 right now, so thumbs up for that. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers and everything. Um, <clears throat> but that is number two for my favorite authors. Number one is another not well-known person, Chuck Klosterman. Uh, he's not well-known because he's only got, I think, two fiction books. He writes mostly essays and articles for magazines and stuff. He's more, you know, uh, like that of those, but this is my favorite book of all time, um, so far. I have yet to read anything better than this. I cannot, uh, recommend this book enough. Sorry, I blanked there. And this is, I showed this on my um, Grail List video. It's signed, not personalized. I, I bought it off of eBay, but it is signed. So this is really cool. That's, um, he also wrote, the other fiction book that he wrote was Downtown Owl. It's okay. Um, it kind of has the feel of Chuck Klosterman being one of those 1980s one-hit wonder bands. Where they come out with something like Heat of the Moment by Asia or, you know, the Flock of Seagulls song, Iran, you know, I mean, and then they just go, Bleh, and they're nothing. They just vanish and, you, and, and you're left to think, what just happened? Crispin St. Peter's, um, I'm the Pied Piper from the 60s, stuff like that. But Downtown Owl isn't like a, a, a throwaway. It's just not as good as The Visible Man. And it says on the cover that uh, two of his nonfiction books are Sex, Drugs, and Cocoa Puffs. Definitely going to be reading that. And Eating the Dinosaur, which I also can't wait to read. So that is my top 10 favorite authors. If you like any of these, well, obviously a lot of people like some of them. Um, if you've got anything to say on any of them, negative, positive, maybe a book that I that you think I that I didn't mention or that I should read, um, or or if whatever, 
any kind of conversation I welcome. Uh, I'm always, always loving to talk in the comments. I answer every comment. Um, and I try to, I try to make it kind of timely too. So that is my top 10 authors. Uh, I think that'll do for today. Um, I guess I could give you a baseball quotation just for the heck of it. Let's go here. Okay, this is great. This, this reaches more than just baseball. It's uh, from George Burns. Are there anybody out? Th is there anybody out there that remembers who George Burns is? Um, AJ just raised her hand. So, uh, my last miracle was the '69 Mets. It's a line from the movie Oh God, and if, and that's actually pretty cool because they were the Miracle Mets. So, thanks for tuning in. This is day four of Vlogmas. Uh, and um, like I said, Dr. Sleep is still coming once I start feeling better. Um, so thanks everybody for, for tuning in. Um, I'm not going to say I'm the best TV show in the universe because that is Brian Lee Durfee. So, but we're climbing the ranks, hopefully. See you all next time, tomorrow. Uh, and, um, uh, well, read more.